Oh hi, it's me, your boy, and today we're talking about something pretty interesting. We're talking about how to roleplay for dummies, because a lot of people seem to need this little tip here. Apparently, one, as a DM myself, and two, being in games and listening to other people that are playing D&D. This one is specifically for D&D-based roleplaying, but it can help with other roleplaying things, so let's just hop into it. So here's a scenario. Let's say you're a you're a half orc, you know, you know those, those guys, the ones that are half human, half orc, as the name implies. So the traits that I need to play with them would be slow and dumb. But this is also very dependent on what kind of stats you have. Like if you're a, if somehow for some reason you're like a wizard half orc, I guess you could be smarter than normal. But most half orcs usually are they're slow and dumb, and that's just the kind of thing they are. If you read about their backstory. Uh, you can't have those random smart moments out of character because that wouldn't fit the slow and dumb archetype. You know, they're slow and dumb for a reason. That's just that's kind of how their character was built. They're supposed to be angry, angry creatures. You're not gonna have random moments of being smart. No, you're not. You're slow and you're dumb. Accept it. Read it in the handbook. The handbook will tell you that most half books are very angry, angry creatures. And since you're an angry creature, your main thing you should be doing is you should be angry, and you should also Kill things. That's mainly what half orcs do. Most people who play half orcs play half orc barbarians, and they are usually they should be at least angry and killing things. Or let's say you're a, a human bard. You know, human bards are pretty easy to play um, because humans are very versatile um, races in D and D. You can be anything as a human. Basically, you, you don't have to fit any archetype. You can be a wide range of anything. But most human bards, we'll, we'll go with bards. For this most bards though are very curious and kind of charis charismatic they're kind of charismatic you know they like to explore the world that's just that's that's kind of how most people have to handle the backstory of being a, a a bard that's just what i've seen personally or let's say you're an elf i use an elf wizard in this explanation here but let's say you're an elf elves usually fit into a very easy archetype that you'd see even in the movies elves aren't that cool they are kind of you know snobbish and uptight i think they're the coolest cats in town and by cool cats i mean they think they're superior to every other race that they've ever met and ever will meet. Usually. Usually. Well, let's say you're a dwarf. Most dwarves you'd see in movies are very brave and also very stubborn. You can go with the basic movie archetype for a dwarf. It makes your life ten times easier than going with some other out-of-the-loop random character type for a, bar a dwarf. It just That wouldn't make sense otherwise. You know, like, just stick with something that's simple and easy to handle. Now, these are all just basic examples of what you could go with for a D&D character, but to save you all the time and energy in the world of having to, to think of all these ridiculous traits, here's an easier idea. Read the handbook! Just read the goddamn player's handbook! It's, there's free PDFs everywhere! Or go on Wikipedia for all I care! Just read about the class and race you're going with. It'll save the DM time. It'll save you time. But more importantly than reading that, honestly, just to make it even easier, write a... A heckin' backstory! Write a backstory. Write a backstory to give your character sustenance, sustenance, substance, and like an actual deeper meaning behind what they are, because that'll save even more time, and the DM even more time. Like, please people, it's not brain surgery, it's building a character. You don't gotta give them, I mean, you can give them a full life backstory if you wanted to, but in all honesty, just write basic things about the backstory and it'll save you so much time, it'll save the DM time, it'll make your RPing a lot more immersive and it'll make the game a lot more fun, at least in D&D terms. Here's an easy backstory right here. You're a half-elf fighter. You're born of a noble human father and an immigrant elven mother. Trained since birth to fight is to become the protector of the people in your nation. Uh... The only downside is, you actually hate to fight. Just that right there, give your character so much more depth than, oh, I'm a half-elf fighter because uh, I just joined the army and I like to fight and stuff, duh. Like, right with that, just with that part of your backstory, just that small segment of a backstory, you can create a character that hates to fight and loves to, to talk things and talk things out and negotiate, only you you are really good at fighting, but you also have a, a noble side to you, like you're really honorable. But then at the same time, you're an elf, so you might not like certain races. Like, just that right there and you're, could be so much more depth to your character than what than what's already given out. You know what I mean? Like, and being the protector of your nation. You could be like, instead of a nation, you could be like, oh, I protect my party now since I left, I left my nation. It's, it's easy. Just that part can make it so much better.
And also remember to act your part. There's no point in building such a great character with an amazing backstory if you're scared to act it out. If everyone acts it out, it'll be a lot more interesting because whether you're awkward or not, if you're doing what you're doing best, which is the character you've made, which has your heart and soul behind it, no one can laugh at it because if they're all doing the same thing, then everyone's gonna have a good time being someone other than themselves because that's just the more enjoyable part of RPing. The point of RPing and playing games that are heavy on RPs because you want to escape the real world, become someone different, someone amazing, and have a ball with being something just different and unique than what you're used to. So don't be afraid to act your part and play the role that you created because it'll make it that much more fun for you and everyone around you. If they see you doing it, then hell, someone else might do it too. It, it just makes it a much better experience. Like, geez, I don't be that guy preaching to the choir over here about <laughs> RPing, but I do enjoy RPing. It's kind of a thing that I, I like to do in my free time. Not my free time, but I, I play d and I, I DM in one game, I play in another, and I sometimes help in other games. But, yeah, that's just the video. This is, this is basic stuff for RPing for dummies. It, I gave you little tidbits of what character archetypes could be for what class you want to be. I chose the, the three or four big races that most people pick in D&D. So I, I just, if, if all else fails, just go with something I put in this video. Be brave or stubborn, angry and you kill things, be uptight and snobbish, or just be curious and charismatic. It makes everyone's time more enjoyable when they play a game that involves RP, and it makes a DM enjoy playing with you guys that much more. And that comes from a DM and a player. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Honestly, I know I can't draw for the life of me, but it was really, really fun doing this kind of doodle animation style thing. I, I had fun, and uh, I made part of this on my flight back from California to Florida, which is a five-hour flight. I made a part of it there, because uh, I went to GDC in California, didn't vlog it, I'm sorry, I was taking too many notes, being a nerd and exploring California, San Francisco area, but um, I'm sorry, guys. But who knows? Uh, <laughs> I did enjoy this, so um, maybe sometime in the future I'll make a D&D &D animation from my party. I'll take some uh, audio logs from them or something, and I'll animate it. So... Maybe, just maybe, you'll see an animation on this channel in the future. Thanks for watching.